The passing of Archbishop Desmond Tutu is really sad and today we are going to explore who Desmond Tutu was and what he died of. First and foremost, Desmond Tutu was a South African Anglican cleric and a theologian known for his work as an anti-apartheid and human rights activist. He was the Bishop of Johannesburg from 1985 to 1986 and then the Archbishop of Cape Town from 1986 to 1986. 96. In both cases, being the first black African to hold the position. His stand against apartheid in South Africa made him a man above ordinary. In 1984, he won the Nobel Peace Prize for his nonviolent activism against apartheid. Desmond played a very pivotal role in ending apartheid in South Africa. And in 1995, he was named head of the truth and Reconciliation Commission, which was set up to investigate and unearth human rights abuses and atrocities during the apartheid era. Desmond Tutu was a long-time friend of Nelson Mandela and lived for a time on the same street in the South African township of Soweto, Vilakazi Street, the only one in the world to host two Nobel Peace Prize winners. South Africa's president, Cyril Ramaphosa, said Tutu was an iconic spiritual leader, anti-apartheid activist, and global human rights campaigner. He described him as a patriot without equal, a leader of principle, who gave meaning to the biblical insight that faith without works is dead, a man of extraordinary intellect, integrity, and invisibility against the forces of apartheid. He was also tender and vulnerable in his compassion for those who had suffered oppression, injustice and violence under apartheid and oppressed and downtrodden people around the world. Desmond Tutu's many achievements included awards and honors such as the Nobel Prize for Peace that was in 1984, the US Presidential Medal of Freedom he received in 2009, an award from the M.O. Ibrahim Foundation that recognized his lifelong commitment to speaking truth to power. He received that in 2012. And the Templeton Prize he received in 2013 and very many more. Desmond Tutu, in full Desmond Mpilo Tutu, born October 7, 1931, Klaxdob, South Africa, was born of Kosa and Swana parents and was educated in South African mission schools at which his father taught. Though he wanted a medical career, Tutu was unable to afford training and instead became a school teacher in 1955. He resigned his post in 1957. He then attended St. Peter's Theological College in Johannesburg and was ordained an Anglican priest in 1961. In 1962, he moved to London, where in 1966, he obtained an MA from King's College, London. From 1972 to 1975, he served as an associate director for the World Council of Churches. He was appointed Dean of St. Mary's Cathedral in Johannesburg in 1975, the first black South African to hold that position. From 1976 to 1978, Tutu served as Bishop of Lesotho. In 1978, Tutu accepted an appointment as the General Secretary of the South African Council of Churches and became a leading spokesperson for the rights of black South Africans. During the 1980s, he played a pivotal role in drawing national and international attention to the iniquities of apartheid. He emphasized nonviolent means of protest and encouraged the application of economic pressure by countries dealing with South Africa. The award of the 1984 Nobel Prize for Peace to Tutu sent a significant message to South African President P.W. Bosa's administration. In 1985, at the head of the township rebellions in South Africa, Tutu was installed as Johannesburg's first black Anglican bishop, and in 1986, he was elected the first black archbishop of Cape Town, thus becoming the primate of South Africa's 1.6 million member 
Anglican Church. In 1988, Tutu took a position as Chancellor of the University of the Western Cape in Belleville, South Africa. During South Africa's moves towards democracy in the early 1990s, Tutu propagated the idea of South Africa as the rainbow nation, and he continued to comment on events with varying combinations of trenchancy and humor. In 1995, South African President Nelson Mandela appointed Tutu head of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which investigated human rights abuses during the apartheid era. Tutu retired from primacy in 1996 and became Archbishop Emeritus. In July 2010, he announced his intention to effectively withdraw from public life in October, though he said he would continue his work with the elders, a group of international leaders he co-founded in 2007 for the promotion of conflict resolution and problem solving throughout the world. On October 7, 2010, his 79th birthday, he began his retirement. Tutu was diagnosed with a prostate cancer in the late 1990s, and in recent years, he was hospitalized on several occasions to treat infections associated with his treatment. Despite his illness, Tutu remained interested in world affairs and determined to use his enormous moral prestige to make a difference. In 2015, you remember, he launched a petition, launched urging global leaders to create a world run on renewable energies within 35 years and was backed by more than 300 southern people globally. It described climate change as one of the greatest moral challenges of our time. Mandela, who lived near Tutu's home in Soweto and also won the Nobel Prize, described his close friend Tutu as sometimes student, often tender, never afraid, seldom without humor. This moment Tutu's voice will always be the voice of the voiceless. That's what Nelson Mandela said. And in 2009, Barack Obama described Tutu as a crusader for freedom, a spiritual leader, and a respected statesman who has become a symbol of kindness and hope far beyond the borders of his native land. Dr. Ramfeda Mamufede, the acting chairperson of the Archbishop Desmond Tutu IP Trust and coordinator of the Office of the Archbishop, said in a statement on behalf of the Tutu family that Desmond Tutu died peacefully at the Oasis Frail Care Center in Cape Town. He died at the age of 90. The news of the passing of Archbishop Desmond Tutu is really sad, but we thank God for his life. It was a purposeful life, truly well lived in the service of humanity. May his soul rest in peace. That is a communication from His Excellency, Bobby Wine. In one of his quotes, Desmond Tutu said, If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. If an elephant has its foot on the tail of a mouse and you say that you are neutral, the mouse will not appreciate your neutrality. Archbishop Desmond Tutu, may his soul rest 